Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, enjoy the backdrop. I am currently trying to figure out where I'm gonna film here at my dad's house because my room just isn't very private and the space where I used to film in with like the white backdrop, it's um, Christina's office, so she kind of has some stuff that she put up and it's just not the best background. So, she has these curtains here that are kind of cute. Um, they're not really my vibe, a little bit busy, but this is where I'm gonna be for today. It looks really professional, I feel like. Um, unlike me and my <laughs> sweatshirt and like, literally I look insane, but I forgot my makeup at home and I just like didn't feel like looking cute. But I'm just gonna get right into today's video. Um, I got a new phone recently. It's the iPhone 11 and I got her because my other phone broke. So like the speaker broke and the camera broke and so basically the only way to fix it, it was the iPhone 8 and the only way to fix it was to get a new one. So it was this one or the SE and I wanted this one. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get into this video. This is my phone, um, the iPhone 11. I love it so much. It's just sleek. Um, the cameras are nice. Everything about it, like if you're thinking about getting an iPhone 11, go for it. Like it's my favorite. I got the 11, not the Pro, and I think the only difference is like the camera and like a couple software things. I love having no um, home screen or home button and like the screen being all around. I'm gonna show you guys my um, iOS 14 update like customization thing. So um, this is my background. It's me and my cousin um, in the cape that I took this summer on this lifeguard chair. It's super cute. But when you go in, this is what you see. Um, I have my widget smith at the top and my widget here, it's a quote that says be present. Um, here is just a calendar. I put calendar there because I often forget like events that I have to do or like when I'm hanging out with someone and I just like forget about it. So I put that there and then I have my main apps that I go on every day. I have Instagram, Pinterest. Snapchat, Poshmark, Duolingo, podcast, words with friends, and photos. I'm gonna make a Pinterest board with all of the pictures that I used to make my apps and to make the widgets. Um, so I'll have that link down below so that you guys can use the same photos if you like them. So that's the first page at the bottom. I just kept my like main apps the same. So then when you go to the second page, I have these two widgets and then I have all my other apps, so I have TikTok, Google Photos, Lightroom. Lightroom is an editing app I use. Let me show you guys um, what's going on in here. So this is the app I use to edit all my photos. If you guys are interested, um, I have like all my favorite photos in here that I've taken. So I have these photos on my Instagram, but these are just like my favorite pictures that I've taken. I'm still trying to figure out like my editing style. I don't have a specific preset or like way that I like to edit. So um, once I do figure that out, I will for sure make a how I edit my Instagram photos video for you guys in case you're wondering. Cause all my photos I kind of edit differently um, depending on lighting and things like that. So yeah, that's just what I have going on in there. I have my Visco, I have my clock app, I use this for my alarms and my little bedtime thing. And then I have camera, notes, I have a lot of things in my notes, um, Google Classroom, calendar, EWG, I just want to take a second to talk about that. EWG is um, an app that I love to use, it has all these different um, categories, you can look up food and skincare products and self-care products um cleaning products home, as you can see like i'm just showing you so what you can do basically is look up like what's a skincare product like glossier um milky jelly cleanser and if you want to buy it it shows you the uh cleanser right here it's rated three overall and then it shows you like all of the high risk and low risk things that it has in it so um it's low risk allergy low risk developmental but it's moderate risk cancer and so before you buy any 
products you can see if this is something that you want to buy if it's going to be bad for your skin if it's clean or if it's not clean because a lot of the times if you're shopping for like beauty and household things it's hard to know like what is actually clean and natural and organic and what just says that and so i love to use this app for all of my skincare things i personally only buy things that are a one or a two or an ewd certified which is the highest that you can get um so obviously i won't be using my milky jelly cleanser anymore but yeah that's just this app um next i have um, quizlet my calculator app maps weather facetime spotify i'm gonna show you guys my fall playlist soon i have settings and reminders and then over here is just all my app libraries um i'll show you guys my social my socials really fast so you can follow me if you want to this is my instagram check her out this is my pinterest Check her out. This is my Poshmark if you guys are interested. I always have my things linked normally, so if you're interested in any of this stuff. Um, my Visco. And last but not least, my TikTok. <laughs> Yeah. What are you wearing right now? So that's that on that. That is everything that's on my iPhone 11. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make widgets. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download Widget Smith. I'll show you how to add um, the calendar widget and the photo widget. So how I added the calendar widget as you go to add medium widget and then what you're going to want to do is just click on that and you can have the time you can have the calendar like i do um the exact date you can have photos um you can have that kind of calendar you can have weather um activity if you have an apple watch and sunrise sunset whatever you want and then you can really go in and customize it I used this font and then when you go into color I did a custom color or no I didn't <laughs> I did white and then I went in here and for the background I did a custom color because they have these pretty like light colors that I like but um, I did a custom and I just did like a blue color it took me a while to find like the perfect one but you can just pick any blue color that you like or any color that you like and then you can do a border which I didn't do and then all you do is press the back arrow you press save and then you have your widget right here for the little quote widget all you have to do is press add small widget you go in here and you basically do the same thing it just has different like little settings you can do I have photo one so if you want to do a quote you just save the photo and um, like the photo that you want to use and you um, come in here you press photo and then you can go to selected photo and choose your photo um and then yeah that's basically it and then if you want like the calendar that's one of the options so that's how you do widgets now i'm going to show you guys how you do the covers of the apps like these things and so what you're going to do for that is you need the app shortcuts so what you do is you go to the shortcuts app and it should be blank for you if you haven't done this yet but what you can do is press a little plus, add action. You're gonna do open app. You're gonna just click this one. And then let's say I want the Chipotle app. And then you click the little three dots. You just type in Chipotle, add to home screen. And then instead of new shortcut one, you can do Chipotle. You can really make it whatever you want. You can do like, I don't know save place something like that whatever you want and then you press little like that thing and then you can take a photo or choose a photo and i just have a lot of random screenshots in here right now but i don't know choose like whatever photo you want for chipotle maybe you want like i don't know i'm just gonna do that because whatever 
Um, so you do that and you just press choose, add, done, and then make sure you press done again and then you can see that you have one added action and then you can come in here and see that Chipotle is right there. You can move it to wherever you want in your screen. Normally the Chipotle app will be like right here. You're just going to have to delete it so how you do that is here let me bring it in here once you add a shortcut um the app like the original app is still going to be in here so all you do is hold it down like you're going to delete it you press edit home screen and then you press like the little delete area and it'll say delete app or move to app library and what you want to do is move it to the library and um then you'll have the shortcut here but you won't have like the ugly um like out. oh and this is my lock screen in case any of you guys are interested in it's just a little silk background thing and i just thought it looked really cool so i love the widgets because you can really make it any aesthetic that you want it's just totally customized to you and that's how it mine is so i'll have um i'll try to put every single photo i use into my pinterest board and i'll have that link down below so you can literally just take the photos that I use and put it in the same way that I did if you like the way that I set up my background. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you guys later.